Okay, two videos today. I don't know if you're lucky or unlucky, but let's do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try something a bit new today. I want to talk about movies, TV, television, TV, television, really. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about TV and movies. I do like a good book, but I haven't had much time to sit down and read TV movies, gets the job done. So, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is Hannibal. Why Hannibal? Because I just did my psychology, I finished my transcription of a session where you have a mock session with a client and I would binge watched Hannibal and I'd learned some pretty good techniques and I implemented it in there so you know what? I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I'm going to talk about Hannibal and why I like that show. Hannibal, the first two seasons were brilliantly done. I heard the se third season was trash, that it was completely disconnected and un irrelevant to the storyline. And to me, when I was watching season two, the last episode, it did seem like an ending. So I, I wasn't expecting a third season. But, hey, if they want to collect their coins, by all means, do it. So... Okay, what is Hannibal about? Hannibal is about the FBI. So essentially, Lawrence Fishburne recruits this guy, Will Graham, to help him profile serial killers. Because I guess that's what he does in the classroom. So they're taking him out to the outside of the classroom and out into the field. But Will Graham was classified as unstable to be out in the field. That's why he's not an agent. So I don't know why he... I don't know, what do you call it, like, breached protocol, and that will ram out there in the wild, but hey, that's what he did, and that's why you get what you get, that's why a, flitch, a switch flipped in Will Graham's head, and he went off the rails, and yeah. so Will Graham is what you know, what is known as an empath, he feels everything that another person feels. I don't know if it's exactly that though. I think it has something to do with mirror neurons. He probably has an abundance of mirror neurons so he's more sensitive to people and their energy and emotions and so that's why he takes it on and replicates it because of what he's, how, what he's interpreting, what he's seeing. Um, I don't I don't know if the show is quite realistic. I don't know. I've never seen anything quite like that or heard of a case like that. But let's not act like I'm a real psychologist yet. So <laughs> it might be a real thing. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm an empath. I know I'm really sensitive to people's emotions. That's why sometimes I question myself, am I cut out for the job? But I've kind of been doing this since I was six years old counseling people so <laughs> if it hasn't broken me yet <laughs> um, so yeah so because he's an empath they think that he'll be able to put himself in the shoes of a serial killer and if they understand how he thinks they'll be able to catch him because most serial killers are white males <laughs> so anyways I don't know, if this character, Hannibal Lecter, the actor, he seems to be half white, half Asian. That's kind of the vibe I get. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Not that it matters, but... So, Hannibal... The character of Hannibal Lecter, I don't know if it's the writing or... The acting is quite brilliant, I would say. Um, he... He's scary. He has a really dead charisma. It's... That's, that's the thing I don't understand. That's why I'm sitting here watching this like, all of you are stupid, because I can tell some, right off the bat something's off with Hannibal. Yes, he's personable, but he seems cold. He knows the mechanics of interacting pe with people, so... Like he has the technical skills, but there's just a coldness to him. And 
it may be it's situational irony. I know something that the characters don't know, but come on. <laughs> come on. So, yeah. And then Hannibal, it's, to me, I don't think it's really ethical for a psychologist to work with somebody that they know well, like a colleague or where there's a potential for them to know well, but that's what they did. Now, the reason why I think Hannibal is actually a brilliant psychologist and it would take a certain level of skill to be able to manipulate your clients in the way that he does, but because he's kind of like Inception, he's planting ideas to see what you're going to do. To him, it's all a big game, but it's the way he asks questions, his techniques. I have respect for that. I do, but I really don't get it. Like, how can you be a psychologist yourself, Dr. Alana Bloom? And that see that Hannibal Lecter is dead inside. Like, come on. And then Lawrence Fishburne, Jack Crawford, you're supposed to be a behaviorist. How are you not studying his behavior? He is by far the coldest. I don't know. I, I just don't know. And that's why... It's, Psychopaths probably thrive in this environment because there's a whole bunch of people there to give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, criminals in general, heck, even stupid people, I don't know. Sometimes I see people and I'm like, how have you made it this far in life without being punched in the face? It's because I really can't stand you. Um, of course, I don't say these things out loud. <laughs> I don't um, but anyways, uh, so then there's Agent Mulder, or by her real name, Gillian Anderson. I feel like her character, it, she did a good job. She's one of the female characters that I like, and I don't know, I tend not to like female characters on TV, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because they hire women because they're pretty. I don't know if it's because the writing for these women is terrible. I just don't know why. But Julian Anderson did a good job. I don't know if she was so cold herself because she's a psychopath or a sociopath too, or because she's trying to adapt to Hannibal Lecter to be... I don't know, in a one way to be close, to come down to his level, but another way to put up walls, because Hannibal Lecter is very cold and calculating. So, I don't know. Hetian Park, Beverly Katz, I didn't mind her character either. I just wish she would have had the sense to listen to Will Graham sooner and take his advice. I mean, you honestly think you can take down a serial killer on your own? Come on now. Really, girl? I don't know. I, I feel the show was brilliantly executed. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a couple... I had the worst nightmare the other night. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it's weird. I was watching this show, and I wasn't that disturbed when I was watching it, except... When Hannibal was preparing the meals, there was such a conflict, and it truly made me want to become a vegan. Because think of something, think of the most beautiful food you've ever seen. If you've watched any cooking competitions, something like Chopped, you see how the plate is beautifully presented, it looks delicious, and imagine Hannibal cooked it. He just puts it out there, and it looks gorgeous, and... You're eating somebody's spleen. Or somebody's leg. Oh, God. I, it just makes me sick. I just... I can't. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, my gosh. Like, it just makes me want to gag. And then the way he talks about it. It's a game to him. He enjoys it. It's the power. Sitting there like, oh... This is a particularly young veal. I mean, it was a particularly old veal. Older than most pigs that go to slaughter. I mean, I don't know who he killed for that. 
I don't know if it was actually real, but at the time I thought it was that girl. I forget her name. I say Abigail. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but I was just so disturbed. Ugh. And just the lengths he goes to to do things. It's. Oh my goodness. You've got to watch the show. I want you guys to watch the show. And I want you to start commenting. And then I will respond. Because I got a lot to say. But I don't want to throw out too many spoilers. Like when you see this one. Where this guy comes on. This guy is brilliant. If you've seen. Um, the United, United States of Terra. The. The professor. Who she tries to kill. You'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know. That guy's a good actor. I forget his name, though. I'm usually good with actor, actor names. But yeah, that's Hannibal. Go out there, watch it, comment. I'm going to be doing these videos a lot more often because I like to... You do not want to watch a movie with me because this is how I am. I'm just sitting there talking, analyzing everything aloud. And I start to predict things before they even happen. I... I just watch so much TV, I can see what the scheme of the format is, I just know. So, when you can pull a fast one over on me, that's when you know you've got a work of art. So yeah, next week, or next day, whenever I get around to it, it's going to be Nashville. I'll just tell you straight off the bat, it's not a show that I wanted to like, it's not a show that I thought I would like, but I actually liked it. It had a lot of drama, kind of like... A Real Housewives of Atlanta or a Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. A lot of different story arcs going on there. Uh, a lot of, whoo, a lot of stuff going on there. But there's there's a depth to it that reality TV lacks, and that's why I appreciate it more. But yeah, there you go, guys. I'll I'll talk to you later. Bye.